I'll be continuing with the italic capitals, and if you haven't watched the series on the lower case, there would be some good information in that series that would help you understand a little bit how the guidelines work. If you um, can see this page, I'm working and placing my letters in between the guidelines here. So we've already started with some of the capitals. I'll be continuing with others. But the capitals are going to fit right into this space here. And although we don't usually do all the capitals as groups in words, it's a good idea to practice them this way because it helps you to refine the slant for the letters. So we're going to be continuing with some of the trickier letters. We've done all of these but the N so far. And they're going to fit in the space, and they're eight pen widths high, and now we'll get started.